Hello everybody, it's Maltas here and welcome to my channel. Today we do something different because thanks to the K Miler and also Konami, I got access to the Contra Operation Galuga. Nice. You can ask where the indie game in Contra Operation Galuga is, but it's definitely an indie title as it was made by WayForward Studio that created known titles like Shanti Series, River City Girls and more. They also made Contra 4 for Nintendo DS. Okay, this is the half of the cutscene, I don't gonna spoil everything fully for you, so now let's jump to the gameplay. So the game is fully 3D, even if the camera is... Oh, you can... Whoa! When you dive into the water, the music is like... But anyway, the game is fully 3D, even if the camera is set in 2D perspective. Take a moment to practice movement, jumping... Nah! I know how to do it! I was playing it on the Chinese bootleg Nintendo Entertainment System. I know how to do it. I got achievement for something! Overload the weapon, okay? Hey, the music is the same! Great! Whoa! There's a lot of nostalgia, to be honest, and probably the, this is the reason the, the game appeared, like in this way. As obvious as it can be, the new Contra is based on the original title from arcade machines and later the Nintendo Entertainment System. To be specific, it's reimagining of the original game to modern standards using ideas that were placed in previous titles. Keeping the old theme and iconic things well made, developers added beside the standard story mode additional things like unlockable perks, arcade mode, various challenges, new characters and other stuff that wasn't available in the original. So we have two active powers. We can swap them anytime you want. Our choppers take an enemy fire. It's going down. It's going down. It's definitely the more graphical title than old Contra. We are doing fine. I oh, know I got hit. I got hit and I lost my power up. I wonder how how many things they changed or added. Like this this one thing that overload your weapon, but is there is something new? No! You don't say. Yes! I like this weapon. Yes! Homing missiles. And you can spawn them. I should have known Contra had arrived when the entire jungle caught fire. I like that this the game has a cutscenes that try to explain at least a little bit more of the lore here in the game, but they are quite basic. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's a base. And to be honest, at least some parts of the entire map are very similar to the first original Contra. Even the boss is nearly the same. Knock, knock. Let's use the overload power. Oh, no! I died. Good job, soldier. <laughs> Our job is to kill and smash. And we're gonna do this. As modern standards require a modern approach, the characters have multiple lives that can be increased by perks, there are also checkpoints, and thanks to these perks you can make your game easier. The game allows you to improve some abilities and overall the game is not as hard as much like other titles in the Contra series. It also adds more narration through cutscenes and fully voice acted dialogues between characters. The entire game is quite well, based on the original, so it's uh, a lot related to the nostalgia, and I like it. I would like to see more what's gonna be here. It's good that you can fully switch character with every single step. You don't have to play uh, one character from the beginning to complete the end and then play again, that you can just simply change your character before each run. <gasps> I could search a lot faster on one of these hover, hover bikes. bikes, okay? They haven't decommissioned this model yet? Oh, we are doing cover bikes. Okay, yeah. Go, 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 go. I like that the perspective changes, or at least a little bit. Oh, we have a better upgrade. Five shots are better than three. That's the lesson I learned in the school. <laughs> I like the art style. It's it's 
it's one of the things that like separate the old title old original from the new one is definitely more modern but it's also not the on the newest level okay ah oh, she something hard to aim down and a maneuver i don't know why maybe i'm just old i have to use focus i have to use my inner power I tested it on the Steam Deck and it was running great using very little of the console power. The game, like previous Contra, are made from controllers, so it's very natural to play using an Xbox gamepad or Steam Deck. The game on a smaller screen can lose some details in comparison to big screen monitor, but graphic art style isn't the most important thing here, so it doesn't matter too much. Oh no, this is a cool car! I want this car! Give me that! Give me that car! She. Okay, I, uh, I learned my lesson. I have to... Ah! It's quite tricky. I'm sure definitely there is a, on the hard mode, definitely a much bigger challenge. Yeah, the red dude. Now we change the car to be red. So thanks to that, it's faster. Ah! I was too slow. I'm too old. And perk shop. This is something new. What we have here. Okay, so by collecting the credits or points by doing the stages, we can acquire some Perk. Increase height of double jump. Oh, this is cool. And I like that they use the sprite from the original. <laughs> but ask me, ask me as old, old player, old player of Contra, I don't gonna use any perks. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Are you sleeping there? Are you sleeping there? Yeah, definitely. And he's driving to the wall. And now he's running for me. Oh, now he's. He can retain the same speed on the reverse. What kind of car is that? Oh, ho, ho. that was great. That was that was fun. I like this. Great, we are doing fine. What the what the fuck is that? Guess the lieutenant was tougher than I thought. What the? He, he combined itself with the car. Go f what the f No! What the fuck is that? What the f What kind of monster is that? What the f Oh, we kept the uh, upgrade from the previous map. That's cool. Ah, you think you are smarter than me? Oh! oh! He hit me! Wait, we're gonna do this. Believe me. Believe me. I know what I'm doing! Yes! I told ya! I told ya! <laughs> Great! Regardless of all the changes made, it's still old Contra, keeping its staff close to the original formula. It works well for nostalgia and memories, but in comparison to current titles on the market, it's quite stiff and archaic. Operation Galuga is somehow a reboot using the story from the original Contra, as well as mechanics and power-ups used across all of the older titles from the series. But at the same time, it doesn't add too much by itself. In simplicity is great, as it allows you to quickly start playing and it works well on Steam Deck. Also, there is a lack of technical problems. The game runs very smoothly, and the only glitch I noticed was during the main cutscenes where one of the characters' foreheads has some unmatched texture. Maybe I was lucky, but I didn't happen to find glitches. For Contra fans, it's definitely an interesting title, as well as for new players, it can be an easier start to the series. Definitely this is a good title, but not amazing or game-changer so I'm not sure if the current price of $40 matches the content as many players speak about it in the reviews. Anyways, I will continue to play it on the train or at work, and if you want to try the title yourself, there is a link in the description. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more indie game showcases, and I will be happy to read your comments. See ya!